So why you, the reason why you add a sweetened water over the apple scraps to ferment it is because you need that extra bit of sugar to kickstart the fermentation process. So a lot of apple cider vinegar is made just with pressed apple juice. And pressed apple juice will have much higher ratio of sugar than just the scraps. So you make that sugar sweetened solution or honey sweetened solution. You pour it over your apple scraps and you just give it a nice little mix. And what happens is all the lovely bacteria and yeast that exist on the skins and within all the, the cores and the scraps of the apple will feed off of those sugars and they will ferment it. Initially, they'll ferment it to alcohol and then leaving it exposed to air will transform that to acetic acid. And that's what you get with the natural fermented apple cider vinegar is that acetic acid. Um, and that acid um, helps kill off bac bad bacteria. So when you gargle vinegar, if you have a sore throat, that will kill off all that bad bacteria. Um, and it's also just really good for balancing um, your digestive system. So I'm just giving that a nice mix. Now, the next step for this is to leave it at room temperature, covered, as I've done with this one here. And you can see there's a color change here as well. So I just cover it with a cloth. So we'll just swap that cloth over, leave it covered with a cloth for two weeks. In that two weeks, what will happen if you take the lid off, give it a stir every so often. You don't have to do it every day, but just every day, like a couple of days for the two weeks. Just give it a stir and it's just so the apples at the top don't brown too much. So you kind of mix everything through. And also you want to incorporate lots of air into it because there's lots of natural bacteria and yeast in the air that will help feed off of those sugars and convert it initially to alcohol and then to acetic acid, which gives you that amazing homemade apple cider vinegar. And so give it a mix. And after two weeks, what will happen is you'll start to see it bubble. So you'll dip your spoon in and you'll see some bubbles give it a taste. And once the sweetness starts to go down, then you can start to taste the sour acetic acid coming through. So after two weeks, what you do, so this has been fermenting for two weeks, is you can get a fresh jug or container, a bowl, and you strain off your apple scraps. And you can see this liquid has started to thicken up too. So it started to sort of extract some of those amazing pectins um, from the, the apple skins and cores. And then what you do is just cover that and leave it for another four to six weeks. And during that time, the sugars will continue to be consumed. So what's great is you've added sugars, but that's just being fermented out. So it's just there to kickstart and aid the fermentation process. And by the end of it, you don't have any sugar content. Mm -hmm.